Well, welcome back, guys, to Dragon Quest VIII. Let's continue on. Alrighty, so last time we had just finished up at our at Arkutsk. Now, unfortunately, Marta had been killed by the spirit of Ratform, which is currently possessing Domenico's dog, Leopold, and then he flew off to the east, apparently. Now, we are going to chase after him, but before we do that, there's still a couple things that we can do now that we have the ultimate key that Mar Marta gave us. Alright, so, first of all, we're going to warp over to pick him. Because it's time to collect the rest of those chests that we can finally get now. Because this ultimate key will open those doors that have been blocking us all this time. I have already picked up the one at Princess Minnie's castle, because that's what I did at the end of the last video. Now, this one should be around here somewhere. I don't re remember exactly which building it is, though. I think it's this one? Wait, no. No, it's this one. Ta-da! These doors will no longer bar us. So we got ourselves a power shield. A mini metal. Ooh, this one's actually a mimic. Not too scary. Yeah, see, and it's dead already. Silly mimic. Oh, he dropped an iron nail, though. That was neat, I guess. And this one has a rune staff. Raises the defense of all allies when used as an item in battle. Hmm, might give that to Jess for the time being. She won't equip it, but I'll just have it around so she can use it as an item. Alright, so that's it for the chest from Pick'em. But we're not going to zoom out of here just yet, because now we have to go to Red's house. There's another cache of treasure chests there in her house as well. so we don't get into as many random encounters. Then I'll we'll ride the great we'll ride a great saber cat over to Red's house. Okay, let's ride. You can also zoom over to the Swordsman's Labyrinth and walk from there if you feel like it's faster that way. But they're probably about equal distance. It's just a shame we can't zoom there as a, since her house is in a zoom point. Okay, we made it. That's weird. Red isn't here. I wonder 
where she ran off to. Oh, since she's not here, let's go ahead and loot her stuff. So we got a seed of agility. Got another garter. Another mini metal. And a spiked steel whip. That would increase her attack power to 134. Ooh, it's actually better than the Dragon Tail Whip, believe it or not. Yeah, the Spike Steel Whip is actually stronger. I'm surprised. Alright, so you can hold to onto that for now, Jess. In case we need you to switch back to Whips. I'm probably going to keep her s sticking to staves for now, though. That MP regen ability is just way too good. Alright. So... Now we're going to zoom over to... Trudane. And we have a bit there, it just feels like. There is something here that I didn't pick up before. It's an imp knife recipe. I don't know how I missed that. Imp knife recipe. Combine an assassin's dagger with an impish, impishly evil item. Imp knives are said to drain an enemy's MP with each slice. Eh, not that good really. So let's go through this store here. The treasure chest should be on the next floor above. Either that or on the, on the top floor. Yep, here they are. Got a seed of magic. Some Yug Drazzle do. Another mini metal. And a rusty old sword. Once a legendary blade, now just a rusty and chipped old sword. I could be I bet we could make something really good out of that though. If uh, through the alchemy pot, that is. Excuse me just a moment. Okay, just had to take care of something real quick. It's so the next place we're gonna go to is Argonia. I'm gonna have to go back into the castle for this one.
gotta go upstairs first. Outside from this floor? Yes, we do. Cross the bridge, then head towards the back, because I believe that's where the treasure room is. should be down here. So here we have a skull ring. A moon axe. surrounded by an air of danger. So you definitely don't want to equip that or you'll get cursed. Now, Moon Axe is pretty good, but the King Axe that Yengus currently have has is much better. But if you haven't gotten a King Axe yet, then the Moon Axe is definitely a good substitute for it. The only thing about the King Axe is that it's either really expensive or you have to sacrifice the Slime Crown in order to make it for alchemy. Alright, the last place we need to go to is Arcadia. Oops. I like the thing I used to work again. Gotta stop doing that. Darn it, stop that! <laughs> Just because I'm trying to go through it so quickly. I'm screwing up. Okay, there we go. Now let's warp to Arcadia. because I believe that's where the treasure chests are. Yep. Don't mind me, just gonna raid your loot. castle and turn in these mini metals that we just acquired. And as I said, we've already gotten the treasures from here, so we don't need to worry about those. A 
suit of sacred armor. Four more mini medals, and we'll get a piece of Ori Calcum. Let's check out that armor. Magical armor that regenerates the wearer's HP during battle. That's definitely cool. Now only the here only our hero here or Angelo could wear it. Angel cur Angelo currently has platinum mail, and that reduces damage from enemy spells by 15 points. Now, the spiked armor is pretty good, but it's probably going to be more beneficial to give Hero this sacred armor. Because while it gives Angelo 12 defense, it'll give Hero... ...15 defense, so that I think that would be more beneficial in the long run. Plus, that ref while that reflected damage is neat, it's not necessarily that useful. So we're going to go for the Sacred Armor. And now his HP will slowly regenerate while we're in battle. And he's also recovering HP when he attacks because the current blade he has equipped is the, the Miracle Sword. So that's pretty cool. He shouldn't be terribly low on HP for random encounters. Okay, so now we need to be getting back to our boat. Okay, so time to continue on with the story. First, let's have a look at our map once the game loads. So the next place we need to be going to is the northernmost island. We haven't actually been there yet. Yeah, so from Princess Minnie's castle, let's head northwest. This island is home to a place called Savella Cathedral. <laughs> Tentaculars.
We shouldn't be able to survive another round of attacks, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Wow, they have a lot more HP than I was expecting. And they ran away. <laughs> okay then. I'll have to take them more seriously next time. At any rate, we made it to the island I needed to get to. That town there is our target first. I believe that there's a treasure chest that we can get from around here somewhere. That was cool, just seeing them all die in unison like that. Subway. the opposite way. Yeah, I guess it was. My bad.
Yep, there it is. I thought I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I'll just open it. Thank you. Ooh, there we go, a seat of defense. Let's run back and enter the town. Just before nightfall, too. So yes, welcome to Savella Cathedral. The high priest, eh? in the eastern continent when I saw this really weird cave under a bridge. What a find. I bet you it's the legendary Captain Crow's cave. It's gotta be. Hmm. Captain Crow, eh? Steel scythes. Don't need those. Eagle daggers. Partisan. Holy silver rapier. I have one of those. So you don't have anything I want, basically. Silk gold rosaries. That's neat, I guess. What do you have, sir? Full plate armor, not very good. Yeah, nothing I really need from you either. Yet another mini metal. And a seed of wisdom. So the high priest likes birds, eh? shame that Marta had to die. But we should try not to dwell on it. We have so little time together. Let's talk about happier things. That was the first time I've ever seen snow. It was so beautiful. Like a giant fluffy white blanket. If we played hide and seek, you'd never be able to find me. I'm so white as a horse. <laughs> oh, my dear. Don't forget to take me to the spring now and then. I miss talking to you. I have been taking you. I know how she feels, though. S seeing snow is still surreal for me. People say Captain Crow had some amazing map called the Illuminated Sea Chart. It's supposed to guide you to this strange island that no normal boat can get to. Sounds cool. Hey, it's daytime. Time to wake up, old man. Mm -hmm. 
Anything else around here? I don't need souvenirs. Probably Leopold flying around trying to find his final victim. And if we don't stop him, he's good. Rapforn is really going to be returned to full power. Can't let that happen. I seem harmless, eh? He's hearing more and more about this Imperia. Yeah. So the abbot was actually next in line to become the next high priest, but he declined. That's interesting. This place is cool. What? Yeah, I suppose I can save now. 